Okay, I want to show you guys some things I've learned about foul spark plugs and lawnmowers, weed eaters, um, any kind of outdoor power products that you might use. Um, I've got a few spark plugs here and I'm going to show you the difference between each one of them and compare them and show you some things that I've learned. Hopefully that will help you uh, deal with a foul spark plug. First, I want to show you how to identify a foul spark plug, what it actually looks like. This is a foul spark plug. I'm going to take my pointer and point here. You see right here on the tip of this plug, I'm going to hopefully where you can see it real good, um, there's some white crustacean in here. I'm going to turn it where you can see it real good. Um, this little white crustacean that's that's in here, if you can see it right there on the tip of my little screwdriver tip here, that is oil buildup. That's where a cylinder is actually, oil is getting by the rings in that cylinder, and it's, it's fouling out between this electrode and this arm that comes up over where it, where it fires and so it's it's grounding out the spark plug is what it's doing fouling out grounding out ever how you want to describe it but that's exactly and they'll get much worse than that that's your your fouled out spark plug now here's an example of a clean burning spark plug now see this is kind of dirty um around here they're grooves and stuff. I took it out of a toolbox, but I just wanted to show you. It was a clean burn. Um, you've got some evidence of use. You see a little um, white stem in here. Is um, it's you can tell it's been used, but it's not. It's not oily, gummy. It doesn't have a bunch of crud in there, and you'll get crud inside this little ring right here. It'll build up. It'll actually bridge over to the sparking connection and ground the and it'll ground the spark plug out right here. So, because this is your actual ground to the to the wall or the cylinder of the car, uh, when you when you screw this in, this is connected in. So this is what it actually grounds and sparks to. Your fire is coming all the way through it and is grounded out and comes right through this little tip right here. So. If it's not insulated well and it's and it bridges over close enough, the spark will actually spark on the oil and the foul spot. Now, I'll show you another plug. This is a plug that is in the early stages of fouling. Look how dark it is around the top edge of this tip here. And look how dark it is on the inside. Um, that one was taken out a little bit early before it started actually fouling out bad enough to have to take it out but it'll still run on a plug like this which no problem but eventually that plug will get worse and it will it will fail on you it'll start making your motor miss your motor just especially when it's under a load or a stress when you um when you give it a lot of gas It'll just, and, and you have a load on it, it's going to spit and sputter, especially if you have a two-cylinder. If you have a one-cylinder motor, it might cut off on you or not run right, and you'll know. If you change the plug, you'll know that's what your problem is. Now, third plug I've got to show you. This is a plug that was fouled completely out. However, I reuse fouled out plugs because... These things are four or five dollars a piece in some cases, and um, if they've got limited use on them, if you can only get X amount of hours out of it before it fouls out on you, the best thing to do is clean it and reuse it. Now, how do you clean it and reuse it? That's a good question. I submerge these plugs completely in gasoline. I put them in a cup, put them in a... Um, some kind of little 
bowl, anything I can put a lid on, small enough, just enough to get enough gas, completely covers up this, put a lid on it so the gas won't evaporate, and let it just soak overnight. And when I come back, I take something like this, this little, it's a screwdriver with a, uh, I just made a point on it. We just took the screwdriver tip off and made a point on it at some point and ground the end of it down. But I take this and just kind of go in this little crevice here, take a, a air pressure uh, and just clean it out as good as I can with the air compressor. If there's any any other crud left in there, sometimes it'll get stuck and you have to have give a little bit of help to kind of just get it out. It's kind of like cleaning teeth or something. You just break it loose and put a little bit of air on it, squirt the air in there, you know, on your air hose, just and these things will clean right back up and you can use them again. Um, the only thing is, you know, you after a while the spark plug is going to wear out and you don't know you have to really keep up with how long the spark plug has been in so that's the thing you'd have to figure out on your own is how how you know how long the spark, spark plug has been in and all that kind of good stuff but it's crazy to keep buying spark plugs over and over and over again if you can just clean them and reuse them and so that's what I do a uh, solvent will work for cleaning these things um, degreaser in some cases will work so just figure out what you need to do to clean your plugs up and uh, get them cleaned back up take your little little brush scrub it down here on the tip make sure your gap is set you know at the proper gap setting in case you uh, happen to tamper with it and when you put it back in it should work fine but that'll save you a little bit of money if you have a machine that's found out plugs